Hello, my name is Shanta Nimbark Sakharov. I'm a writer. I write about food. I create and write recipes. I have three cookbooks that I have published and one history book on San Francisco Bay Area's food cooperatives. All four of my books can be purchased at these places. Now today, we are going to make Brussels sprouts and butternut squash curry. And in this dish, the main ingredients being the squash and the butternut sprouts are full of nutrients that are good for the cold season. They have a lot of vitamins and antioxidants that help you fight against viruses. So, what do we need for making this curry? The process is a four-step recipe, but the reward is worthwhile, as you will soon see. All four steps can be done separately, some ahead of time. The ingredients you need for this curry is, of course, the butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, and coconut milk that will make the sauce with some of the butternut squash. Then you'll need the powder spices that will go in the sauce and they are cumin, coriander powder, turmeric powder, and cayenne powder, and a little bit of salt. Cut it with a wide bladed knife like this and always cut it lengthwise because we are going to steam it. You can also bake it or steam it for this recipe. I prefer the steamed version because you can control the doneness. We do not want to overcook this and also it is faster. Cut it into half lengthwise like so. Okay, it is fresh, it is hard, but it is fairly easy to cut it. Like so. okay. Now, we are going to remove the fiber and the seeds, like so, and we'll put it in a steamer basket, like this. And it has about two cups of water. And in about 15 minutes, that is going to be soft enough to be cut into cubes and also we'll be able to peel it after steam. Small knife or a veggie peeler will do it. Here you go. Okay. So this is about two cups. We are going to reserve one cup of chunks to go into our curry and the rest will go in the blender with powder spices and coconut milk. One cup of coconut milk. Again, it should be low fat. This is a very healthy recipe. It does not have much fat and it uses very little oil. So a little bit of water goes in there. About three, four tablespoons of water. And then the spices, teaspoon of coriander, teaspoon of cumin, small amount of cayenne, maybe about half a teaspoon, and a teaspoon of turmeric.
little bit of salt. Voila. the sauce ready to go into a sauce pot to be cooked. It's nice and thick and spiced up. The sauce will be cooking in the back burner. So tofu gets cut into cubes like this. About the size of sugar cubes. Then the Brussels sprouts, they're kind of curious little creatures. Take some outer leaves out, especially if they're discolored, they're fresh, you don't have to, but rinse them. Cut off the knob. Cut into half, like so. So we have about 20 halves, and we have some tofu. We're going to skillet fry it. So here it is. In about five minutes, it gets cooked with one teaspoon or two teaspoons of oil spread on the surface of the skillet. And you cook it for five minutes so that the cut side down gets cooked to change the color. And then you invert them downside up and cook on the other side just for five minutes. It is done. Same thing with tofu. Next, we are going to cut our herbs to stir fry everything together. And that is squash, tofu, Brussels sprout, parboiled potatoes. Cut this into small size pieces with some greens included. So I'm going to add just a tablespoon of oil. And to that, I'm going to add green onion, a few strips of red bell pepper, adds nice flavor and color. Then the ginger grated using a cheese grater, big teeth. Then some rinsed cilantro, coarsely chopped with some of the twigs included. Save some cilantro for later. It will get go to decorate the dish. You're going to save the lime for later to squeeze on. Okay, now what goes in here are all the pre-prepared ingredients including steamed squash, potatoes, tofu, and Brussels sprouts. Okay. Allow it to stir fry so that the oil 
and the herbs get nicely coated. I would say for about six or eight minutes. The sauce goes on top to bathe the dish. So here I have a bowl of rice and cranberry chutney that I have shown in another video. I'm going to serve it up in a bowl. Make sure that you have some sauce on top. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching the video. Again, my name is Shanta Nimbark Sakharov. If you have any comment or question about this video, you can drop me a line at shanta at cookingtogether.org. Thanks. Happy holidays. <laughs>